guys, I'm at Kohl's, I'm shopping for Christmas now, and I met somebody famous. It is 11.35 on a Monday morning, and Simone Hi. is here. Where would I be? I don't know, in Mexico. This whole week we ain't got no things to do. That's not true. Well, Christmas stuff, but uh, I no, no, we're not supposed to have those until your mom gets home. We can have one. She said don't let them go on. Oh, so we can have one? Well, that was the one I wanted. Seriously, you guys, tell them how snowballs go in this house. Like, like that. They, my mom makes them once a year. And, except for her own graduation years, because then she makes them for the graduation party. But, you only get them during December. And so, everybody just basically stuffs their mouth full of... You like snow. You said we have nothing to do this week. We have three things on the schedule. No, I mean like... We have festivals tomorrow, on Christmas Eve, on Christmas Day. We have so much to do this week. This is not enough hours in the day to do it. Good morning, guys. Ah, dinner. Gonna check on some dinner. Yum! And I got a PC. So the Blazers game is on tonight, and it's Monday, so it's probably not gonna be that um that long of a vlog. It's actually actually me and Andrew decided oh, that you. Monday is going to be a quiet night. Clearly not quiet, but it's going to be a night. <laughs> Where we're just gonna do a one tank because Tuesday is gonna be Festivus, so Festivus is gonna be like really long vlog. Christmas is gonna be a long vlog. Christmas Eve is gonna be a long vlog, and then um, Friday is gonna be a long vlog because I'm gonna be hanging out with Helena. And then Saturday and Sunday will be back to regular size vlogs. And I apologize for all of the screaming in the background, and that you probably just heard the effort. I'm gonna have to try to bleep that out. But there's blazer screaming. <sighs> There's a Blazers game on, and <laughs> my family is swearing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, guys, I'm at Kohl's. I'm shopping for Christmas now, and I met somebody famous. Ready? Hey, guys. I like warm hugs in summer. <laughs> I met Olaf. He's real. Hold on. This is going in my famous book. Because I met somebody famous. I'm so goofy. I just saw this Olaf sitting here, so I was like, I want to meet Olaf. So I'm going to pretend he's real. <laughs> We're shopping and trying to look for some Christmas presents, which I can't show you because otherwise, people that watch will know what I get. And I look a horrible mess, but I'm still shopping. Look at all these shelves are haunting. This is cute. I think this looks kind of creepy. What do you guys think? Mom, I met somebody famous. Who? Olaf. He said hi to me and gave me a high five and a hug. Pretty cool. Anyways, we'll be back. So it's late up at night. Late up at night? It's late at night. It's not too late. It's only like 10.50. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about something. I wanted to tell you guys that I am intuitive. And I haven't really said anything before. Just because in the past I've been judged about being intuitive. So I haven't really said anything. 
And if you don't believe in that kind of stuff, then that's fine. But let's just not do any mean comments or anything like that. I do tarot cards, and I do palm readings, and I do um, other readings. And my dad is actually a shaman, and he does house clearings, and he does Reiki, and he teaches classes. And my aunt is also a Reiki master and does the same kind of thing my dad does. He does a whole bunch of different stuff. He prays for people, he does house clearings, he gets rid of spirits, he does cleansing of like people's chakra, chakras, things like that. Um, and then my aunt does it too, and my uncle, my aunt's husband, and my mom, and my brother have learned how to do it, and Andrew has learned how to do it. And I've always had this ability to be intuitive. I've had it since I was really little. The earliest I can remember is when I was six, and I, like, felt presence and things like that. Like, I felt my grandmother, who died when I was four and a half, five years old, and I felt her in the room, and I asked my dad, you know, Dad, I feel like somebody's in the room watching me, and he asked my aunt. My aunt said that it was my grandma, so I've always kind of been able to do it. So I just wanted to be honest with you and tell you guys that. If it freaks you out or you don't believe in it, please don't say anything mean. Just don't say anything. And if you do believe in it and you, um, whatever, like, a reading or you want to know more, write down in the comments and I'll totally be honest about it and tell you guys stuff like that. Um, but in the past, I have had problems with people and trust. Believing is something that not everybody does. And I believed strongly until my last year of high school and a girl faked a sob story about her grandma was sick and with tarot cards and readings you have to be as honest as possible with the person during the reading and you have to open yourself up to it and I had opened myself up and I did the tarot cards and um, the tarot cards were like, the tarot cards told me um, that everything would be alright for her. And she said, ha ha ha, well, that's not even true, my grandma is doing sick. And so the tarot cards did give an accurate reading to the fact that everything would be okay, but it wasn't given honesty. And so. Her teasing me about it and purposely trying to trick me just made me not really want to do them anymore. And I've had a lot of trouble with a lot of people who just don't believe or they make fun of me for it. So I haven't been doing that for a while. But now I'm going to get back into it and I'm going to be true to myself. And if that freaks you out, I'm sorry. But that's just how I am and that's how my family is. And I want to share my life with you guys, so I want you guys to know that part of me too. Which is also why all of this stuff is up. This is like his prayer corner. He has like candles and things in there. And he um, has a lot of Buddha stuff too. And that's also why I wear this little crystal. Because it's like a protection. And I wear it all the time just to protect myself. And it also gives me gives me security sometimes too. If I'm really nervous about something or I'm really like um what's the word? Feeling anxiety. I just take this and just holding this and knowing that it's there to protect me kinda helps. So just in case you're ever wondering why I'm always wearing a necklace. It's not always on a blockchain so you might not have seen it before. But anyways, I just wanted to be honest and I wanted to thank a fellow YouTuber well, I'm not going to say their name because I don't know, like, I don't want to say their name and then them be like, oh, I didn't really want you to say my name. But a fellow YouTuber of mine, YouTube friend, um, contacted me and said that they felt like I was intuitive and said that they felt like I needed, like, their, their, they said their guardian angel told them, told them to tell me to get back to what I truly am 
and to be honest with the fact that I'm intuitive. So I just wanted to thank them because it meant a lot of me that you emailed me and that you told me that and that um, pushed me in the direction of getting back into doing the best stuff. Readings and letting the intuitive side come in and everything like that. Oh, another side, I also do um, aura readings. Like, every person has an aura color. So I do that. I also find, I can also find your power animal. Um, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm learning how to do tea leaves, but I don't like tea, so you have to drink the whole thing of tea in order to do the reading. So when I do do tea readings, I usually have somebody else drink the tea and then I do a reading for them because I want the tea. Um, I do palm readings and that kind of stuff. So if you're ever curious and you want to know what's my power animal, who is my guardian, what's my aura color, then you can just go ahead and contact me or write on one of my videos in the comments and I can do a separate video or I can just email you the information. But I just wanted to be honest with you guys. Thank you guys so much for being supportive. And back to the vlog. So really sad to leave because Jack is having some problems. He threw up and then he went upstairs and we didn't see him up there. And then he went in his little box and there was, I'm not going to say there was because it's gross, but there was blood in it and it was all over the floor and upstairs and so he's really not feeling good and I don't know what it is, like I think it might have just been, you know, the digestive problem like we have sometimes um so i'm hoping it's just that and it's not something that's always but i would just like to ask you guys all to please pray for jack because he is not feeling good he hid under my parents room, um, bed for about four and a half hours and didn't come out and was just sleeping and now that's a little cat but at night the world down here, he likes to sit on the couch with us, and he likes to be active, like, he likes to play, he likes to cuddle with my dad, he likes to wrestle with my dad, and stuff like, like, he likes to wrestle with my dad's hands, and, like, roll over it and play, like a kitten, you know? and so, tonight, we just talk about this, and he's down here right now, and fantastic. How are you feeling, baby? You feeling any better? Let me turn on this light, see if you guys can see him a little better. Jackson! Jackson! You feeling better? So if you guys could just pray for him. Thank you so much. What are you doing, Jay? Are you being adorable? You guys are so cute. Okay, so I want to thank you guys and my mom wants to thank you guys too. Mom. Thank you. For um, all of your nice prayers and thoughts for Jack. Because I was kind of freaked out last night. I was freaked out last night that he was sick. And I kind of panicked. And I did a video about how I was panicked that he had that happen. And I got so many loving prayers saying thank you so much. And thank you guys so much for praying for this little guy. Yeah. He's feeling so much better. Um, and, oh, <laughs> hi, princess, and we were really worried last night, but we are so glad that he is doing better, he's doing great today, back to his old self, um, eating normally and everything like that, so we're just so thankful, and I just wanted to say thank you guys for being so sweet and supportive and sending all those nice messages for Jack, because Jack is so sweet, thank you, <gasps> what's over here, oh, 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 Jack. Yeah. 